actually. Hold on. Okay. Because I was like, am I using the lucky? But I was like, no, I'm not. So yeah, I can restore health when I'm... Rune ring. What the heck is a rune ring? Cool. I can, I can like, quadruple... I can probably quad... If I use that soul, I could quadruple my, uh... Magic... MP restoration. Ow. Cool. So yeah, we'll go over to the arena. Actually, uh, I might take a break. Oh yeah, I've been recording for a while. Chill out, Triton! <laughs> cool. Man, Triton just needs to chill. Yeah, I'll... Oh yeah. Okay, it's probably from the other ways. Yeah, I've explored everything here. So far. Stupid wooden boat. Extra height on this. Whoa, magic boats. Okay, good. I was like, there better be something down here. Always a scary thing about dive kicking. Cause sometimes you will <laughs> you will hit stuff. Oh, poor killer fish. I feel sorry for that fish. Literally a fish out of water. Wait. Must be. You jerk. You were such a jerk last time. I 
feel like I'm feels like something's over there. Oh yeah. I think that's the arena. So yeah, let's get to the arena. Cool. Getting a good decent amount of level levels up. Levels up. Yay! Oh, the come the the claim Solis. My favorite weapon. Actually, no, Chris Grimm. Chris Grimm. I said I'll have to make a video show showing off um, showing off some stuff because there was a special item you can get at the end of um, Symphony of the Night, but the problem with it is you need. You need you need three hundred thousand gold. It's a lot of gold, like a, an absurd amount of gold. So um, I am probably I'm gonna be farming. I'll, I'll make a small little video, probably probably a very quick play of Symphony of the Night. So now we're in the arena. Now with the comes or claims lease, we just destroy everything. And that killer mantle is very important. That weird little hank blue handkerchief thing flying around. Okay, I thought it was a breakable wall. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is nice. I think there's a... Safe point around here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that killer mantle is a funny little thing. Like it'll. It'll, like, try to stab you. See, watch. Whee! <laughs> it's funny, though. That always makes me laugh. So, this is just big arena. Big arena for big boys, and don't get kicked or punched by the statues. This is where you can get some cool gear. And see, now this teaches you... The mechanic of, uh, the wrecking ball. The good thing is it doesn't hurt you. Come on. Come on, almost there. Hit it! 
There we go. Just takes a second. Trolls. So, Alorox's suit is pretty good. So, it ups all your stats, including your own defense. So, very highly recommended. Very worth fighting for. Be careful. So always remember, use that save point. If anything, I'm just going to save regardless. Okay, cool. So, next arena. I wouldn't really... I mean, they do essentially get harder as they go. Be sure, be careful, because you're going to get hit. And this one's actually another fun sword. Belmung or whatever. Actually, I'll show it to you when it's a little safer. Save. <laughs> Saving is the most important thing to, the, to surviving this stuff. Because there is no shame in that. So yeah, this is the Belmung. I said, they're, they're really strong, powerful weapons, so... Where was it? And it's a more traditional, well, it has like a cool teleporting effect kind of thing to it. So, I per I said, I'm all about the, the claim Solice. Because it is much better. So, this one is actually a puzzle. You see little little D-pads on there. Oops. So just follow the D-pads. I guess the same. Well, we'll see about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Last one. <sighs> Sometimes you just have to be so close, or you have to be certain distance, I guess. Let's try this again. That was my fault. I overcorrected. Actually. Where is the one that is... Is it you regain health? Cool, that'll help a lot for here. Keep trying this. Hmm. <laughs> it's like that's fast. So I have to be like super fast. Freaking finally. <sighs> I'm just kind of like such trolls. It's like, oh hey, you did it. Here's your freaking stuff. You're your filthy animal. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this boss afterwards, so save, fight boss, and then we will uh, continue to the last little area. I keep forgetting, like, I keep forgetting how this is actually a pretty quick game. Because usually I'm like, yeah, this this will be pretty fast. I'm, I'm just kind of like wowed by it a little bit. Uh, so Minotaur. And now we have some really good armors and stuff, so... Oh yeah. Actually... That's a tough one. I'll probably keep with the all rocks. I actually like the... I like having all stat boosts. Speaking of all stat boosts... I was just curious. So this one's actually this actually is probably my favorite one of the game. So we got the Castlevania one vampire bat. Nope. <laughs> this Belor or whatever. <laughs> yeah.
And yeah, as you can see, he does a lot of damage when he punches you. Oh, that's BS. I was hoping that she's... <sighs> I was hoping there... Oh my gosh. So yeah. Got Belors. I was hoping to cheese him out with Nightmare. So, our last ability soul. Oh. Maybe we get it later. I don't know. I might have to run back to, the, to get a guide and check it out. Oh! Jay, what's wrong? You look pale. Uh, don't worry. Just now, all of my memories came flooding back. What? Seems that your dark power triggered the return of my memories. Just like I guessed. I have an ex I have a <clears throat> I have quite an extensive history with Dracula. I thought so. My real name is Julius Belmont. I'm a descendant of a clan that has fought Dracula for ages. And the person who who destroyed Dracula in 1999 was Yes, it was me. But there were others who assisted me. So if Dracula is revived again, just as written in the prophecy, then I must destroy him. It is my destiny. You haven't met a man named Graham yet, have you? Graham? Oh, you mean that missionary, right? I met him a little while ago. When, I, when he saw my face, he turned and ran. He told me that he was Dracula. I did sense Dracula's powers at work with him. But it's difficult to believe he's Dracula, or rather, I think... No, forget it. It's, mo it's nothing mo It is nothing more than a hunch. Huh? Assuming that he is Dracula, I won't be able to kill him yet. Why not? I need my weapon. Your weapon? The Vampire Killer. It's a whip that was handed down to me. It's called the Vampire... Yeah, Vampire Killer. In 1999, I sealed it in this castle to weaken his ma his spirit and magical powers. So that means it's in the castle somewhere. Yep. And I know exactly where it is. I'll go get it now. All right, be careful. Pray that my hunch proves to be wrong. Farewell for now. So, we... Now finally have our ability, so now we can fly. Whee! Um... Actually, yeah, I don't have any. So we're gonna explore a little bit more. Because I swear there's an ability soul up here. Yeah, those guys hit freaking hard. <laughs> I love how they just stand there. Well, they have like super defense. It's funny, when I was a kid, I used to get freaked out by the little... the axe. This big axe right here. I was like, oh, it's gonna hurt me! I was such a weird little kid. Oh, 
Yeah, that one's always a funny one to fight with. Nope. Not letting you do that. And that's actually a little bit faster. Good. Wow, it drains a lot of your MP, though. Ow. Okay. Let's go get that fire sword. Me, lady. Oh. Hmm. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Nothing. Konami code don't work. Ooh. Hmm. Hers is pretty good. That's the su the succubus. So whenever I hit something, I get five health back. Fuck. <laughs> Cause yeah, she's help. She's very helpful. Or her soul. Yeah, let's let's fully explore this area. I'm not even mad at that. I just honestly think that's like one of the coolest things ever. <laughs> It's a fire sword. Come on, killer mantle. I'm getting too cocky. Too cocky for my own good. Oh gosh. Okay. 
bullets yet. We'll jump in the teleporter. And I will find a good place to save and check out the check out the store and stuff. Yeah, I'll check out the store over here and then I will uh find a save point and I will call it quits. Cuz damn, it's almost been I've almost been recording for about four, almost 4 hours. About 3 hours 40 minutes. What's up, hammer? Got anything cool? And how we have tons of them, tons of stuff to buy things, but we found some pretty amazing stuff, so we don't really need it. Yeah, freaking Soul Eater Ring. Yeah, 300,000, but it is, it is. It is worth it though, because gosh, trying to 100% this. I wonder if Yoko will be all right. Do you know Yoko? Yeah, she's been coming to my house since I was very young. Because I'm an only child, she's been like a big sister to me. I see, did Aracado bring her here? Yes, he did. And I'm sure she's okay. He, he said not to worry about her. He was confident he could save her, that's why he brought her here. If you say that, she'll be fine, I believe you. I know this is tough for you, but hang in there! Okay, leave it to me. What's up, Yoko? Poor Yoko. I actually have never- I've never run back here before, so I've never actually seen- Ow! I've actually never seen, um... Whatchamacallit's- it's I've never seen her lying down there like that. So, first save point we get to. We are gone. Whee! Oh, man. Oh, time to put down the gamepad. Oh, man. <sighs> Stretch. <laughs> Yeah, we've been playing for about three, almost four hours, three minutes, 42 seconds, so... <laughs> I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, Castlevania Let's Play. I have been enjoying it a lot as well. Um, well, enjoying it enough to play for almost four hours. <laughs> but I hope you guys have been enjoying. Um, I will... Um, I might do a little bit of research on something on here. But um, I will uh, let you guys go for now. Just give me a thumbs up and subscribe for uh, more randomness and more fun, more Castlevania. And this is Justin from KQS. And until we meet again, comrades.